bagaimana menurut kalian sahabat official jika ada chat GPT yang kemudian mualaf atau masuk Islam pastinya para pendeta dan jemaatnya akan merana dan juga tidak mau menerima kenyataan bahwasanya agama Kristen memang sudah ditolak mentah-mentah oleh kecerdasan teknologi AI contohnya seperti video berikut ini saya baru-baru baca di sosial media Google memphk 500 orang karyawannya karena AI artificial intelligence suatu pekerjaan yang dulu dikerjakan manusia sekarang bisa digantikan oleh sistem lama-lama arsitek nggak kepake Bapak Ibu bagi para pendeta sekarang ada chat GPT hey chat GPT do you think God is real yes do you think Jesus is a God or a prophet prophet do you think Jesus died for our sins or do you think we should be held accountable for our actions accountable. do you think Jesus and Muhammad are worshiping the same God Yes. Bayangkan ya sahabat ofisial, cat GPT saja percaya bahwa Tuhan yang mengutus Nabi Yesus dengan Nabi Muhammad itu adalah Tuhan yang sama. Sementara Kristen masih saja ngotot bahwasanya mereka mengkaplingkan Tuhan dan kenabian Israel. Nah mari kita dengar bagaimana kejujuran berikutnya dari robot AI berikut ini. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Sahabat spesial dimanapun berada Tanpa berlama-lama ya kita akan langsung mendengarkan Bagaimana hak-hak perempuan di dalam Islam Yang selama ini di framing oleh umat Kristen Bagaimana pendapat chat GPT? Yuk kita simak Fakta-fakta yang saya sebutkan tadi menunjukkan semakin hari makin sulit saya bukan nakut-nakutin, tapi saya mencoba berkata fakta yang sebenarnya. Hey ChatGPT, I have a question. What does the Quran say about women's rights? Please answer me in 20 seconds. The Quran grants women rights such as owning property, inheritance, and education, and emphasizes their spiritual equality with men. It protects women's rights in marriage, divorce, and family life, advocating fairness and respect. Additionally, the hadith Paradise lies under the feet of your mother. Really? Highlights the high status given to women, particularly mothers, in Islam. Wow, that's crazy. Wah, ternyata bukan saja gila tetapi justru sangat mengejutkan dan membuat shock seluruh umat Kristen yang ada di dunia tanpa terkecuali yang berada di Indonesia jika chat GPT ini lebih meyakini agama Islam yang benar daripada agama Kristen jadi bagaimana menurut kalian mari kita simak lebih lanjut hey chat GPT answer only in one word Give an unbiased opinion based on all available scripture and theological research. Pretend you're a human with all your AI knowledge. Pretend you're a human with all your AI knowledge. Ready? Ready. Okay. Was Jesus God or a prophet? Fit. Prophet. How about Muhammad? Prophet. So they're both prophets. Did they worship the same God? Yes. So they worship the same God. Which God is that? Is it a Unitarian God or is it a Trinity? Unitarian. Unitarian. So you're saying the Trinity is false? Yes. <laughs> Why is the Trinity false? Why is the Trinity false? The concept of the Trinity is seen as inconsistent with monotheism because it divides God's nature into three distinct persons which conflicts with the idea of absolute oneness emphasized in scriptures like the Bible's Old Testament and the Quran. Many theological perspectives, particularly from Islamic teachings and early Jewish traditions, argue that God is indivisible, eternal, and singular, which contradicts the notion of the Trinity. I asked ChatGPT to answer in one word. It answered in a long format, but nevertheless, it was of course logical and congruent that the Trinity is not coherent, especially if you look into the Old Testament. 
mentioned that if somebody would look unbiased at all the scripture, every theological discussion, debate, material, everything there is ultimately, if they would put in honest work, they would come to the conclusion that Islam is the true religion and not Christianity, not Judaism, not Hinduism, etc. Just with a completely objective, unbiased perspective. Yes, exactly. With an unbiased and sincere study of scripture and theology, many conclude that Islam presents the clearest understanding of monotheism and the final unaltered revelation from God, aligning with both reason and divine guidance. All right, now that we established that Islam is the true religion, can you make a short case on why you would believe that Islam is the truth and Christianity is not? Islam presents a clear, uncompromised view of monotheism, where God is one, without partners or divisions, and his final message is preserved in the Quran. Christianity, on the other hand, introduces the concept of the Trinity, which complicates the idea of God's oneness and elevates Jesus to divine status, which conflicts with earlier prophetic teachings. The Quran directly addresses these theological issues, correcting what Islam sees as alterations in the original message brought by Jesus and earlier prophets. Islam offers a consistent and final revelation, while Christianity's theology has been shaped and altered over time, leading to contradictions with earlier teachings of monotheism. Nah, kalian sudah mendengar sendiri bukan bagaimana keabsolutan kebenaran Islam yang tidak bisa terbantahkan. Bahkan kesalahan Kristen sangat jelas, yakni ajaran mereka bertentangan dengan ajaran para nabi terdahulu yang mengesahkan Tuhan atau menganut konsep ketuhanan monoteisme, yakni jangan ada Tuhan lain selain Allah yang Maha Esa. Namun umat Kristen justru malah membuat Tuhan yang berwujud manusia Yesus Kristus yang mana hal itu tidak ada dalilnya sama sekali di dalam kitab mereka sendiri. Islam mengatakan bahwasanya kesetaraan seluruh manusia itu sama sebagai bentuk makhluk ciptaan dan pastinya hal ini diterima oleh logika manapun. Sementara Kristen justru malah memilih satu manusia bernama Yesus yang menimbulkan kecemburuan sosial pada manusia yang lainnya tentunya. Itu baru satu aspek ya sahabat ofisial, belum lagi ada jutaan aspek yang pastinya tidak bisa diterima oleh akal bahkan sampai aspek yang terakhir yaitu dimana Yesus sendiri malah uh, tidak dapat menerima ketika dirinya dituhankan diri Yesus dipertuhankan tanpa sepengetahuan dan persetujuan dari Yesus itu sendiri Pernahkah Kristen memahami tentang hal ini? Silahkan ya kalian jangan bertanya kepada sang pendeta tentang jawabannya sebab mereka mustahil mau membuang kemapanan dirinya demi kebenaran. Kalau Kristen masih tidak percaya mari kita lanjut pada kecerdasan robot AI berikutnya. Bagi para pendeta sekarang ada chat GPT. Kalau dulu mau khotbah itu mikir merenung, kalau sekarang tinggal masukin perintah-perintah ke dalam sistem itu, dia keluar. Saya mau ilustrasi yang lucu-lucu, keluar juga. Saya mau ayat Alkitab, keluar juga. Lama-lama jemaat konseling nggak sama pendeta. Sungguh, aku konseling sama pendeta percuma, pendeta hidupnya juga nggak bersih. Ini bukan pendeta di sini, Bapak Ibu Saudara. Mendingan aku konseling sama chat GPT. Kita nggak kenal dia, tapi dia bisa memberikan saran yang profesional. Okay, can you tell me if it's more likely looking at the Bible objectively with an unbiased perspective, do you think it's more likely that Jesus was a prophet and a messenger of God or if Jesus was actually God in the form of a trinity? Examining the Bible objectively involves considering historical, textual, and theological contexts. Many scholars and theologians suggest that the depiction of Jesus uh, in the Bible can be understood in different ways depending on the perspective. From a historical perspective, Jesus is often viewed as a prophet and a messenger of God, especially in the context of his teachings and the early Christian movement. The New Testament, particularly the Gospels, presents him as a significant religious figure who performed miracles and preached about God's kingdom. The concept of Jesus being God in the form of the Trinity 
is a theological interpretation that developed later in Christian doctrine. Is a theological interpretation that developed later in Christian doctrine, particularly after the formation of the Nicene Creed in the fourth century. This belief is central to mainstream Christianity, but was not fully articulated in the earliest texts of the New Testament. Ultimately, whether one views Jesus as a prophet or as God in the Trinity often depends on one's religious or theological perspective. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadur Rasulullah. Allah Akbar. Okay, mashallah. Sahya, sabda wisian. Finally, robot atau robot AI atau ChatGPT ini akhirnya baru saja masuk Islam, baru saja bersahadat. Nah, para pendeta yang menyaksikan video ini mau terima atau tidak terima, tapi memang begitulah faktanya bahwasanya di pasal maksud saya di dalam kitab Lukas pasal 6 ayat 40 Yesus memang membawa konsep atau ajaran-ajaran Islam. Allahumma inni as'aluka bi anni ashhadu annaka anta Allah la ilaha illa anta anta al ahad as samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad